Today I'm going to make some sweet and sour chicken for my husband's dinner. I'm going to remove this fat. So if your chicken breast is really thick, you can cut half of your chicken breast. Okay, just like that. So I am going to cut it longer, long slice of my chicken. So this is a very simple seasoning. So we're just gonna add some salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. That's all we're gonna season to our chicken breast. Okay, then we're going to massage this to make sure that all the seasoning is observed through the entire chicken. Okay, and we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes before start cooking. I like to allow, allow to rest my meat before cooking it. So they allow to observe all the um, seasoning. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the freezer for an hour. Oh, 30 minutes guys thank you hi hey guys okay so i'm gonna show you how i put my butter for my chicken okay so i'm gonna add three tablespoon of cornstarch okay then we're gonna do four tablespoon of flour. A teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. We're gonna put some cayenne paper. It's kind of dark my video guys I don't know how then okay so I'm gonna put cayenne paper or oh, a tables a teaspoon onion powder garlic powder and salt okay so I need to put in my hands be careful in your salt in your batter because Excuse me. Oh God, have mercy. Um, because we already seasoned our chicken. So I'm gonna put this black paper. Okay. And we're 
is gonna mix this really well. The purpose of um, cornstarch and baking powder is to crispy your chicken. So we're gonna add some water. more like a one fourth cup of water okay then I'm gonna add one egg I will put a description below all the um, ingredients for the chicken butter, for the butter, okay? Okay. Next, we're going to put all our chicken next to the butter. Then allow this to relax again another oh, 10 minutes before frying, okay? Because it does allow you to um, give a break your meat and the seasoning to mix it really well. So it it's really is important to uh, not to rush when you're cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this and allow it to rest. I'm gonna put back to the refrigerator and allow it to rest for like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna start frying our chicken. Okay. I decided to use a big pan I can put a lot of it.
when you're cooking your chicken, when you're putting a batter, do not um, put really closely because they will stick together. So try to um, not to put too much in your pan. So that's what we're doing. So we're gonna brown this a little bit, like it turned kind of a golden brown, then do you to know that it's already done. Okay. Okay, so this is done. If you have a really good crispy chicken, you have to fry it twice. That's a secret to have a really crispy chicken. Okay. It's kind of a time consuming, but it is the result it's wonderful the chicken it's crispy so yeah Okay guys, so I already have leftover homemade uh, sweet and sour, so I'm just going to pour it here, okay, there we go. If you want my sweet and sour recipe sauce, um, let me know and I'm more than happy to provide it to you. Okay, so this is done. I'm gonna turn off my heat. It's crispy and delicious. 